ever wondered how to turn your ordinary videos into cinematic wonders? Today, we are diving into the magical world of video effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, without much further ado, let's get started with the video. First, let's talk about what video effects are. Video effects are like paint brushes to video editing. They allow you to enhance, stylize, and emphasize on different aspects of your footage, from adding dynamic transitions to eye-catching color grading. Now, let's talk about why we should use video effects in our video editing projects. Using video effects is not just about making your videos to be fancy, but it's all about crafting a visual language that captivates with your audience. They are deaf emotion and professionalism to your video content, making it stand out in the digital landscape where content is a king. Whether you're telling a story, creating a tutorial, or recording a vlog, video effects are the key to making your content to be compelling and unforgettable to your audience. But here's one thing that most beginners do. They try to overuse effects in their video edits that will make them to look non-professional. That is, to show that they are totally amateurs and they don't know what they are doing. You should experiment with different effects and know your boundaries and know where to add the various effects that you want to add. The right blend of effects can change your bad clip to a cinematic masterpiece that will leave your viewers to be astonished. Now, let's talk about using the effects in Premiere Pro and how you can use them. In Premiere Pro, I have these two effects, that is video effects that I'll be working with. So I'm just going to center this up correctly. Before I start talking about using the effects, while scripting this video, I classified the effects in two categories. That is the first one being the stock effects that comes with Premiere Pro. Then the second, the custom effects that you can create in Premiere Pro. So let's start with the custom effects that Premiere Pro gives us. So you can easily add these by simply going to the effects panel. And if you can't find the effects panel here, you can go under the window then you'll find the effects panel somewhere here and you click on it. Under the effects panel, you'll find all of the effects that you want to use in Premiere Pro, starting with this preset. So the presets here are the custom made effects that you've created in Premiere Pro. You'll find them under the presets here. Then you also have the Lumetri presets and audio effects, audio transitions, visual effects and visual transitions. So under the visual effects, you still have so many other categories like we have the distort we have the channel we have so many other things that we can play around with and you can simply use the search bar to search any effect that you want say for example you want the turbulent display so just type it there and you see it you drag and drop on top of the clip that you want to add it to and immediately you see the effect taking place on top of the clip these are some of the default effects that comes with Premiere Pro another one is let's say transitions so you can go under video transitions to find all of the transitions that comes with Premiere Pro so for example let's say slide let me just test this out if I drag this and drop it let's say here then when I play it you see it slides to the next text so these are just basic transitions so you can go ahead and go through all of these stock effects that comes with Premiere Pro and you will learn more about effects in Premiere Pro let's talk about custom effects in Premiere Pro and how you can create those effects we are going to be using an effect known as a transform effect and if you go to the search bar and search transform you'll find it under the visual effects folder distort then transform so you can just simply drag and drop it on top of the video clip that you're working with let's say I position my playhead somewhere around here go under the effects and controls to locate the transform effect set the first keyframe for the position move a little bit in front or ahead set in the second keyframe and back to the first keyframe I'm going to just move this slightly below like so right click and choose ease out then this is in so when I play this, you see how the video comes in. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to save this as a preset so that you can use this multiple times. So I'm going to right click on transform, then go to save preset. You can give it a name. You can just say position just for sample sake and hit on OK. Now, each time you want to use this effect, it will be pretty easy. So you can go under the effects panel and as Ella said, 
under the presets, you will find all of the custom effects that you've created and they, were, and they are called presets. So under here, we are going to find the position effect. So I'm just going to drag this and drop on top of the effects. And immediately, you will see that the effect text will also have the same effect like the video effect. Also, under the custom effects, we also have stuff like light leak and some kind of textures or so many crazy transitions. So let me talk about an easy way to use light leaks. So I have a simple light leak here in my project manager. So you can double click to open it up here. Then you drag just the video only and you position it somewhere around here. Now we have a basic light leak and if I play this, we see the light leak but it's not really that interesting and here is why. You need to first reduce the opacity and make sure that it blends in with the video you're working with and the duration has to be shorter and I'm going to show you how you can do all of these things. So I'm going to select the light leak again, go under my effects controls, then locate the opacity section and the blend mode. For the blend mode, I'm going to change the mode to screen. Reduce the opacity to about 70%. But if this does not work, I can take it down to 50. Next, I'm going to press arrow. This is for the red stretch tool, which can reduce the duration of the clip without cutting it out. So I'm going to just allow it somewhere around here. Now, when I play this again, you see how it takes place fast and with some transparency. And again, you can take that, you can reduce the opacity of the light leak. Let's set it to 50. Then increase the duration a little bit while using the rich stretch tool. And that's how you can easily add light leaks to your videos in Premiere Pro. And that's it for today's video. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. To implement what you've learned in this video and leave a feedback down in the comment section below. And I'll be there to always read your comments and reply to them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like the video to support the channel growth. Thanks for watching and on to the next one. Keep editing.